Brian O'Higgins joins me now. He is a cybersecurity expert. He's joining me from Ottawa. Brian, great to have you here on CTV News Channel. I think a lot of eyebrows now being raised right now among viewers hearing about this breaking news story. Um, the data, data breaches aren't something that is new, something that we're concerned about. But now, of course, uh, we're seeing this happening at Life Labs. How damaging is this? Uh, well, you know, I just heard, heard of this very recently, uh, as everyone else did. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing is it's such a huge, huge number. I mean, 15 million people potentially, and they're saying it's mostly uh, residents in British Columbia and Ontario, but it must be like the entire population. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's a very big number. But it, I think it's one on the surface. This might actually sound worse than it is. It's it's you know the case of ransomware, and usually it's the criminals after money to you know pay ransom, and that seems to have worked. He was right. paid off, and the motivation to actually public make those numbers or that information published. Uh, or public, uh, it may not be there. So people may have dodged a bullet that way, but mm -hmm. uh, you can never tell for sure. No, you can never tell. And of course, you know, this, this type of information, very personal information, medical information, as you will. Now, the company, uh, Life Lab, saying it reportedly paid this ransom to get some of the information back. We, we just had there in the report 85,000 um, you know, uh, pieces of information uh, in, in Ontario for, the, for individuals. How often does something like this happen where, you know, you, it's a large company and, and the ransom is paid forward? And, and how much of this, I mean, how, how are they able to get away with it? Or how often do they get away yeah. with it? So the numbers aren't really readily available for how many people pay ransomware, but mm -hmm. corporations now kind of routinely have cyber risk insurance. They pay premiums for this. And when there's an issue, the insurer often comes in and helps them pay ransom. It's kind of the first thing to do and try and figure out a way so they do not have to disclose. So right. whatever the case is, this looks like it was breached late October. They went to the um, all the officials and the privacy commissioners, and they probably had a long, I'm guessing here, but they probably had a long discussion. Mm -hmm. And they were uh, eventually required to disclose that your information may have been breached. So mm -hmm. obviously the hacker had it, but what did you do with it? It's you know, not made public yet. Wow. What's the risk level, would you say? I mean, in oh. this case, as we mentioned, these are health, uh, medical records, health card numbers, et cetera. Well, the potential risk, I mean, it's all for identity theft. Mm -hmm. uh, and NBC, the, uh, it's a health, it's not, it's a services card. It's used very broadly for ID if you don't have a driver's license, for example, and for, for to access government services. Uh, but, I mean, any identity information could lead to someone stealing your identity, and that could lead to a world of hurt yeah. uh, when they take out loans or whatever uh, that you're liable for. So, I, and now Life Labs has had some time to prepare here. Their website is up and running, all their full blown response mode saying, you know, we have more staffing in the call center. Mm -hmm. uh, they're saying if you're con people are concerned, they could give you a year of, um, of identity theft insurance, which mm -hmm. I mean, even that, it's not going to do much for people in reality. It's, it's, it's that will pay direct costs. <laughs> but, uh, um, but I, I, you know, I would have to think it's actually lower probability that information will be released to the public in this case. Life Labs, right. Like, so we've got Life Labs now, Capital One, Desjardins, this all happening in less than a year. You would think large companies like this would, would have the security, but uh, yet, I, I, we I all, mean... We all wish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what Life can be Labs done now, here? Yeah, now they say they've hired uh, great cyber experts and they've shored up the systems and they're perfect now, but I, hmm. you know, if they paid more attention beforehand, it would be a lot better. All right. We'll keep a close eye on this. Hopefully, you know, as I said, as you say, well, we'll see where it goes from here. Cybersecurity expert Brian O'Higgins. Thanks a lot for your expertise on this, Brian. Appreciate it. Thank you.